welcome back to another episode of Abandoned Ventures. Today we're at La Rundle Mental Asylum, which was a famous mental institution here in Melbourne that closed back in 2001. And it used to host lots of tuberculosis patients, and all that sort of stuff, schizophrenia, all kinds of diseases and all that. And it closed down because the nurses here were mistreating the patients and all that and there was a serial killer that was housed here as well so it does have some interesting history behind this place and also a couple of Randall's stories apparently if you walk by at 11.55 at night the music box plays every single time and I'll put the story of the music box into the video when I edit it and Apparently you can hear girl screams as well late at night here, but here during the daytime, so I doubt we'll get any paranormal activities and I'm kind of a non-believer at this point. So it should be interesting to explore though. Lots of history on this place, so let's do it. Perhaps the most reported presence, however, is that of a young girl who perished in one of the fl third floor wards. This young teen had been increasingly attached to her music box towards the end. Its melody often fill in the halls of the asylum. Supposedly, it still plays to this day. Since the site's closure, many claim to have heard the delicate music drifting through Lorandal by night. But while others have described encounters with the girl herself, who he usually appears in a nightdress clutching the box in one hand. And also, the main building, which is insanely massive, which is over on that side, we tried getting in. No way in. Everything's all boarded up, and apparently this is... The only accessible building, double story, still not much here on the bottom floor, but still looks pretty decent though. And there was kind of an opening that led to kind of like a basement thing in the main building. I'm going to try that out later. Don't want to regret it if it does actually lead somewhere like to some stairs that brings us up to the first floor because I don't want to miss that. There was people walking by. Most people double the Randall was the scariest place in Melbourne. I'm not really getting those eerie vibes. Maybe because we're not here at night and this place is getting renovated very soon. Now for the Peter DePay story. Peter DePay was an Australian serial killer and now serving three life sentences for murder. La Randall was known for the first treatment centre for DePay. So many construction cars driving past, but we should be good. I assume this was like a bathroom, as you can see, all the tiles there. So, I assume there would have been a toilet here at one point, maybe a shower. Don't know what this room would have been used for. Maybe a testing room. Not sure how much sense that makes, but don't know. Hard to tell when it's all ripped up apart like this and there's nothing left. Interesting in here. Yeah. Just like the other side. No, nothing. This place is just really an empty shell at this point, guys. Some buildings over there were part of the asylum and have already been redeveloped. And these ones are gonna be redeveloped for apartments as well. So La Ronde will officially be gone soon. This place is trashed. Look at the graffiti, it's just awful. The windows and all that. Also, it's very intriguing to think about when you're in an abandoned place, what went on before its abandonment and that you were exploring it and all that, especially with a place with such a history as La Rundle does have. It's really incredible to think about what's happened inside these walls. And it's like that with every abandoned place. It's like, what happened here? Like, you can just envision it, really like what's went on here in the past and it's really intriguing to think about like not just Lorundle but all the places that you go to 
what's happened and that kind of stuff. It makes you think. Previous thing we come across a, a spider. You can see the roof has already been torn apart. The windows up here are still somewhat intact. Anything here? This little room. And also, just from an educated guess, I think they would have housed the more serious patients in that main building and left the others to kind of leave them in here. There doesn't seem to be many rooms here though, so I don't know what they would have done with this one. So much graffiti. Somebody's shoe left here. I reckon we can get it. Yeah. I reckon that opening, that, I reckon that leads somewhere. Basement. Yeah, I reckon there would be stairs that, like, it wouldn't just be like a basement. directly looking at the building so that's kind of nerve-wracking but where did he go he's still here see if i can get him on camera right there you can see him these stairs are pretty cool good shot yeah. I apologize, this isn't going to be much of a talking video. It's more like video montages and history about this place since it's just a normal double story building and it's just basically a shell at this point, as I said before. Not much to look around and check out. It's just graffiti around here, not missing out on much. Hope everybody enjoyed that video and see you guys in the next one.